Welcome to Death and Taxes. Two things that are inevitable. And you play as a Grim Reaper, deciding who lives and who dies, and the consequences of those actions. I'm about halfway through the game. I think I said this is episode 5. I'm on day 15. And there's a wonderful little cloud hanging around my mirror. So I will go see what the cloud has to say. Yes, you did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon we'll be but mere motes beside your blazing glory. Bask in my splendor, O oh mirror. It blinds, O oh sovereign. Forty thousand corpses for the bridge of advancement. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. Isn't it nice? A wonderful little voice which is designed to... Prick your conscience. Okay, time to go to work for the day. And decide who lives and who dies. Okay, I have eight profiles to choose from. And let's see what happened from yesterday. Charity event organised by local firefighters enjoyed by parents and children alike. Oh yes, I spared the firefighter. Neutral president rises to power after replacing entire advisory team. Former advisors reported missing. Yep, I killed one of them. Suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutors say arrest was imminent. Yeah, I definitely remember killing him. New political podcast by combat veterans gaining more and more traction. I spared one of their... They, them. Government to vote on new Veterans Health Care Act during next session. Good. Pop star Trinity Trey wears smelly green boots when five fashion awards becomes millionaire. Yeah, I reluctantly spared her. The people of Cosmo Cosmopolis City noted for having very beautiful eyes. Okay. Oh yes, I spared someone who did an opt optometrist. CEO of what? 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 Social media platform planned to open a museum of antiques and relics. Yeah, I don't remember that person. Check out these personal, these awesome personal jet jetpacks. And research into drone warfare shows it's close to useless and woefully error prone. Okay, that was the results of yesterday's killings. Congratulations, Grim! You passed the performance review as expected. But let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Okay, a total of six humans have to die. At least three humans with a scientific background have to die. At least hum two humans aged 30 or younger have to die. So basically, out of the eight profiles I've got, I've got to find two humans who aren't scientific and preferably aren't young. Well, he's over 30. He's an inventor and scam artist. Is that a scientific background inventor? Who is this person? A nobody, vain and arrogant. They promised numerous grand inventions, all of which failed. Blinded by egotism, they refused to learn any lessons and continued on this path, ultimately leading to the ruin of several businesses and the death of a number of people. Well, he's technically scientific. And he's scum, so he can die. A climate scientist. Okay. Yeah, they've they're a climate scientist. Well, they're a scientist. Goodbye. An archaeologist. Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider. Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this no good archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Feridian region. Come back to you. A botanist. Sorry, you're a scientist. 
Gardening is Carrie's favourite pastime, also their line of work. They enjoy growing edible exotic plants, experimenting with different recipes. They're also an expert in natural poisons. Die. I'm basically I'm only allowed to have two to live. This one is an inmate. He produces hard drugs at an organic synthesis lab. He's in jail for it. He was a chemistry student. I wish to be a diplomat as a constantly negotiating gang deals in jail. Die. A poacher. Amy is a gifted hunter who has recently found a way to make a decent living with his skill. They hunt the elusive mountain cats for their fangs, which are thought to cure a multitude of health problems. You might survive. A neurosurgeon. A child prodigy has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical professional in academia and in practice. He's addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking personal risks. Well, the poacher and the neurosurgeon are looking good so far. I've got to kill at least two humans aged 30 or younger. And this isn't a drone pilot. High-tech approach to drones. Yeah, I don't like drones. That's not... That's not technically true, but... Scam Artist is going to die. I've already killed five. I've only got to kill one more. It's a choice between the archaeologist... At least two humans aged 30 or younger have to die. Well, I'm looking. I've killed one, the drone pilot. The other three I've let live so far. One's 32. One's 35. Oh, he's going to die. Okay. 32, 35. Or... Oh, no. I killed you. You. 31. So I don't think there are two humans under the age of 30 in this lot. Nope. So, the archaeologist can die. The poacher who kills mountain cats can live, as can the neurosurgeon. I may not have met all the conditions for the day, but that's as close as I can get. Let's go see what fate thinks of that. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? I saw a lot of pain and suffering. It was really sad. Hmm, the anguish of existence. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay! Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? I'm not sure about the whole rebellion thing you spoke of. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a... metaphor. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a... personable dialogue. How long is a day, anyway? Ah, uh, the complexity of time. Imagine that... it is not a fixed and stable entity. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region. Huh, then how does it work? Time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, weeks, months may pass at different intervals. 
profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced, within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. That is why causal links are difficult to establish and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Not really. I'd, I'd rather get back to work. Until tomorrow, Grim. Well, I made my cash. Okay, there's no nothing waiting to talk to me in the mirror, so let's go talk to Mortimer. Shiver me timbers! Ye sure can't get enough of the Emporium! And holy smokes, and a wid and a fidget. Well, blow me down, lad. Tis the arcane fibbledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found its scale in a tower, used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Playing so hard, they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep! <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. Okay, and I'll take the unholy smokes as well, if you don't mind. Smokes are deadly, you know. A curse fouler than any I ever met. Not to me wildest dreams could I rob so many lives. Tis gazing down the length of an infinite tobacco stick. Inching ever closer to the end. An ancient shaman gifted me this pack after I rescued their child from the rabid coyotes. Guess they weren't pleased with me good deed. Assume this visage and forever be reminded of the mortality of all. Okay, I can't afford whatever that is. So now if I head up to my dressing room... It should be a nice gift. For me to change my appearance, smoking kills. Lung damage. Miner's lung. Alt. Gerald. Okay. Let's go with lung damage. Let's change the clothing to old timer. And time to end the day. And go on to day 16, I believe this is. There's my new toy. Only the four profiles today. Let's move that my toy out of the way. Hey, okay. Look at it go. Right, see what the phone has to say. Municipal gardener found dead in their own home, cause of death unclear. Noted archaeology course attempted to smuggle ancient artifacts out of Faradun, shot by militia group. Traffic collision on the West Hold motorway claimed the life of scientist, two others survived with injuries. Inventor drowned the first attempt to start the construction of an underwater city. Chemistry puns gone wrong, inmate at local jail stabbed to death. Stroke is a lot of news. Local mountain cat populations dwindling, food chain ruined. Oh, that was a poacher I let live. I thought... Culling the local mountain cat population might be a good thing. Apparently not. Renowned neurosurgeon survives breaking most bones in a body after near fall from skyscraper for dangerous stunt. Drone pilot goes AWOL after traumatic event. Good to know. Oh, I'm going to have to move that out of the way over there somewhere. Okay, my task for the day. Look here, Grim. How about we try some new methods of maintaining equilibrium? I have great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite end of the profile bundle have to die. Well, that kind of makes life easy. They want me to kill a professional athlete. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. 
They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In the spare time, they like going hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's determination and wishes to continue in their footsteps. Yeah, that seems like a nice person. And Rufa Nadal. Rufa enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for a same-sex couple. Another perk of us being a stay-at-home parent for Rupert is to possibly play Planet of Peacecraft at any free moment. Also a nice person. Whereas well, this one's a mathematics teacher. Doctoral thesis was about calculating the parameters around conflict situations. Afterwards, they decided to put the research to the test in a rough enough environment school. They're into skiing and crafting little patient versions of, of fractals. Like the Menga sponge. And a PhD student. Choi doesn't like to be called a student. They are a doctoral candidate, a tormented scholar, a discovery of drugs and a cure of disease. Except when a student discount is available somewhere. So none of them are bad people. But I will do as I'm told. Not be a rebel. I will kill the stay-at-home parent and the professional athlete. Because none of them are good, necessarily bad enough people to, to kill or good enough people to want me to save them. So I'm just going to obey instructions. And time to go visit Fate to see what he thinks of that. Grim. My fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Can't be any worse than some of the writers out there. Hmm. Cannot be worse than what? What do you have in mind? Oh, humans just publish all sorts of junk. I know, I've read a lot of it. Ah, but I can certainly rise above mere junk. I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. I got my pay. There's nothing waiting for me in the mirror. So let me end today. And go to the office for one more set of killings for this episode. Okay, single mother lost in fatal car crash. Teacher uses clever mathematics to resolve conflicts with modest results. That's the results of yesterday. Today. A fresh idea. I hope you're still well motivated from our performance discussion. You are required to demonstrate the demonstrate utmost precision today. All humans in the bottom row have to die. That's my quota for the day. A janitor. Okay, he, he uses a leaf blower starting at 6 in the morning. He doesn't care about the toxic fumes or annoying people. A soldier. Pietro comes from a family of soldiers going back several generations. As such, they felt they had a little choice but to follow the same path and enlist. They are now returning from their second tour at Fairden, although they're not really into this whole military thing at all. That's going to be a shame. An industrial chemist. Verity has been working at the pharmaceutical industry for decades, trying to find a decelerator for aging. While lately, it seems we discovered might what. While lately, it seems that the discovery might actually come from biogenetics. Ver Verity is certain they can concoct some sort of chemical compound that gets the job done. 
Yeah, apart from the soldier, I pretty much got no regrets about killing all three of them. Media mogul, media entertainment mogul. Walt grew up with a dream of owning an independent film studio, which he established with a partner when they were just 23. The past 20 years, this small Follix Productions has grown to the most expansive producer of artistic entertainment news content in the world, being a, a diversified variety of joy and cheer to all. Okay, he can live. Automotive engineer. And Berto doesn't have much to do these days at the manufacturing plant. And automation has made car building much faster and more efficient. Mostly they look at computer screens, checking for errors. At home they love twinking with their old 77D old Pulsar. Well, he's harmless. Barista. Oh, yeah. So tempted to kill them, just on general principles. Fernandino loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. They're an avid supporter of bamboo cups, dishes and utensils. In their free time, Fernandino likes birdwatching, pirate films and selling bootleg Azure discs. They also have a modest film review blog. A uh, barista with a bit of personality and a manicurist. Conrad is obsessed with building the ultimate gel nails. Their designs keep getting wilder and more impractical each day, but customers keep coming, keep coming, thirsty for the most fashionable, weaponizable nails. I want to kill the barista, but I'm a good, I'm a good. I'm a good Grim Reaper, I will do as I'm told. I like Walt. I even like Umberto. Seemed like a nice guy. Tempted, so very, very tempted. And let's face it, you can never have enough good manicurists in this world. People should spend more time looking after their fingernails. Hey, nothing going on at the mirror. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Maybe, but it's not our call to make. Perhaps. We do still hold some control over the levers. Couldn't humans achieve immortality somehow? To put us right out of business, and you out of existence? Would you really trade yourself for them? What a time it would be for us all. A peaceful time. Ah, oh, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts on loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Doesn't seem fair, because I basically got no agency. Should you have some when we are dealing with matters much greater than you? Maybe not, but it shouldn't be so one-sided. Such is the nature of loyalty. Hardly. You're just arrogant, always demanding, never giving back. Ha! <laughs> Grand! A reaper demanding its due. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <clears throat> live. See what I... <laughs> Where is your sense of humour? Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Wait, I didn't oh, get my daily right. review. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. Let's head down to Mortimer. Ye drive a hard bargain, matey. 
but Mortimer does love a good scuffle. Boo the gerbil. Oh, a pair of cat's ears would look really nice on me. I like the cat's ears. Ye know why I was the scourge of the seas? Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wearing them gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> I'm tempted to get Boo the gerbil as well, but maybe not. Which means I can make a stop at my wonderful mirror. There I go with cat's ears. I am the knight. Interesting. Okay. Well, I had a look at them. We'll go back to lung damage and hot dog. And end the day. And that's where I'm going to end the episode. Fate's contemplating becoming an author and giving me weird ways of... weird sets of instructions on which people I should select to kill. And I'm being a good, obedient little reaper and doing as I'm told. As always, I hope you enjoyed one degree or another. And... I would say this game is well worth picking up if you haven't already tried it. It's definitely a fun little game and it does really set your preju prejudices nice and focused. Just like I really wanted to kill that barista. Just on general principles of killing baristas. It's like I want to kill hipsters. I just want to do it. So it's really, really quite good at focusing your prejudices. And on that cheerful, philosophical and happy note, I will end the episode. Hopefully I'll see you down the road for more of Death and Taxes in the near future. Cheerio!